Hey, I'm Micah. And I'm Tori. And I'm Alex. And this is my installment of the SEC blog, capping off the first week in college football in the SEC. The way it started off, a little slow with Kentucky coming in with a slow offense against Western Kentucky. I picked them to win 31-10, to but ended up winning only 14-3 to against a little hilltopper team that just got their BCS status a couple years ago. The Vanderbilt Elon game, I had them winning 35 to 13 and went on to win 45 to 14 in a very impressive offensive performance. In Tennessee and Montana, I had them win 48 17, won 42 to 16 with a defense that was a little average, but an offense that exploded under Tyler Bray. And then State and Memphis, I had them winning 52 to 0. They only won 59 to 14, but a running game that was exceptionally amazing. Vic Baller running all over the place. And it's going to be looking a little rough against that Auburn game, who is a little slow in the defensive game on the run. And then Arkansas and Missouri State, 45-17, won 51-7. Really looked like a top-10 team with Tyler Wilson taking up this offense just exceptionally. But with the loss of Nile Davis, this team, they're going to do real good first off, but soon that passing game is going to be shut down by an LSU defense or an Alabama defense. And then FIU in Florida. Florida, I picked them to win 48 to 7, and they won 41 to 3 with a very aggressive offensive defense. I'm really liking what Mill Muschamp is bringing to Gainesville, and I, they got a couple good more, couple good games coming up. But John Brantley settling in real nice, especially with Chris Rainey and Jeff Demps playing. Kent State and Alabama won 52 to nothing was my prediction. They won 48 to 7. Trent Richardson looking like an just an excellent Heisman contender. A.J. McCarron looking real good in the first half with Phillip Sims coming in the second. But the way it's looking, A.J. McCarron's going to be your starting quarterback by next week against Penn State. And then ECU and USC, I had them picked to win 45-14, but they won 56-37 with Connor Shaw starting. They was down 21 to nothing going into the second quarter. And Steven Spurrier finally put in Steven Garcia. One of his greatest passing performances, but the run game was amazing. Being the leader he really needed to mature into a long time ago, Stephen Garcia is going to do great things with the South Carolina team. And then we have Auburn and Utah State. I had them picked to win 35-21. Almost upset, winning 42-38, to scoring two touchdowns in the last few minutes of the game with a great onside kick. This offensive defensive line has got a long way to go before they're contending for an SEC West championship. And that's going to be a rough going game against Mississippi State in the coming week. Ole Miss and BYU, my only miss for this week is I went 11-1 in my predictions. I had them winning 21-17 to and lost 13-14 to BYU in the last few-minute meltdown to the Cougars. And then we have Boise State and Georgia. I had them, Boise State winning 31-28, to and they won 35-21. to I say a crowd looking good, but this Boise State team is so much better than the Georgia Bulldogs, and Mark Rick's got a long way to go if he's wanting to keep his job. And then the game of the week where I picked LSU to win 35-34 to dominated this Oregon team 40-27 to in a really good game to open off college football. LSU's looking really good, even with Jordan Jefferson out. Jarrett Lee's going to step in, and he's going to do great things with this uh, LSU offense. The receivers have got a lot to work on, but this defense is looking really good. Well, that's pretty much for, for now. I'm going to send in your first video and your top five games later on down the week. This is Micah. And Alex and Tori. With your last installment of week one in college football on the SEC. SEC. <laughs>